Hi there, Tim here, Head of Training at Pencil, coming to you with a feature focus video on our image generation tool. We're not going to go into the detail of prompting here. We've got our prompting 101 video and a number of skills spotlights to support you with that. Instead, we're going to be looking at the basics of the image generation tool, where to find things and what some of the included features are. So digging in, we're going to look at where to find it. We can go to AI Magic Tools, filter to assets and then select image generation. We can get there from our projects folder as well, which will also bring you back to AI Magic Tools. In our new user interface though, you can get to it straight from the landing screen. So I'm gonna select get started. We're only going to look at text-based generation today. So we're going to choose generate image and that brings up our left-hand panel where you can find model selection. Today, we're going to stick with stable diffusion. We have prompt entry which we can populate from a template and then edit how you need. You can also enter a really simple prompt and use our prompt improver tool to hone that for you. I'm going to use my own prompt though. We also have an entry point for negative prompts and I've got a whole other video for you on the skill of negative prompting. We have a compose feature. I'm gonna to come to that in a totally separate video. Before we press generate, we can choose a different aspect ratio. We can also choose a number of results up to 10 generations at a time. I'll come back to seed again in that later video. Once we press generate, it will take a little bit of time to load. I have sped up the times here, so we get results pretty much instantly in this video. I've got some really good quality images coming through. They match my prompt really pretty well and they will always appear at the right and then when we select them they appear in the canvas in the middle. We've also got these greyed out dots that's where the predictions will come in. They haven't loaded yet they can take 10 to 15 minutes but hopefully at the end of the video I'll be able to show you how those predictions have come out for my images. If we do have any imperfections anything that we want to change or edit in our image outputs we then have our range of editing features built into the tool. So I'm going to start with Magic Fill. Magic Fill allows me to brush in an area and I can change my brush size as needed. I'm going to fill this area up. I want to get rid of this path just as a demonstration. So I cover it up completely. I go over the edges of where I want to generate to give some space for the generation. And then I'm going to prompt that I want green foliage included in there. Again, I could use the prompt improver tool to help me to hone that prompt a little bit more. Then I'm going to hit generate. I've sped this time up again and it will always give you two options. And if you're not happy with those, you can go back, you can hone it again. It's filled in that path really nicely for me, giving me some good green foliage. We also have our Smart Arrays tool. So Smart Arrays works best on smaller details of your image and it will very accurately take out certain features and backfill them so that they blend in seamlessly. So I'm going to brush out this leaf here, again, just as a demonstration, hit Arrays, and we get an alternate version with the leaf removed. Sometimes you might need to go over a couple of times just to absolutely perfect it. Our expand tool allows you to change the aspect ratio of an image or to add extra imagery around the edge by shrinking down. I'm going to expand my image to a 1-1 aspect ratio. I've sped up this particular generation as well, but it's done a really good job of filling that in and making sense of this image at 1-1. Choosing a different image now, I'm going to show you our Enhance tool. We have options to increase the overall size of the image or at 1x we can increase detail within the image. The Creativity slider basically lets you select how much leeway the model gets when regenerating this image in more detail. So I'm gonna up that slider just so you can see the effect of doing so. So at 65% we'll get a bit of change to the image that will come with that massive enhancement. And that's just coming through. 
you can toggle backwards and forwards between your original and your new one. And where you'll really see the difference is if I zoom this in to 200%. And we'll slide that over in a second. There we go. And you'll be able to see a massive increase in the detail coming through. And just to remind you, that's doubled the image quality. So, there, oh, there we go, our bubbles have come through. Um, we can see that we've got green bubbles now. That means that these assets are predicted to perform among the top in the sector, according to Pencil's huge database of real results. If those had been blue, it would have meant it was different for the sector, but give it a try. Orange means it's likely to be a loser. We can also retarget, as you just saw me doing, to different metrics, different targets. There are a number of other features in the tool, which I'll show you in another video. But just as a final point on here, we can add these straight into our assets in our asset library and assign them to particular products. We can share and then we can export. And within the export panel, we also have the option to add comments to an image and for a client to set it as approved. So that is our image generation tool in a nutshell, in a whirlwind. Thank you so much for listening and please do check out our other videos. Thank you.